Good. Your boy Young Destroying in the cut. Marquette Kit in the building. Hey man, we about to just get this working, bro. Welcome to the chase. The series where your boy destroying documents my journey to the lead. We chasing a dream, chasing a goal, chasing that fing money. We out here working. My dog's punting some shit. My dog, were you quarterback? Nah. Mm -hmm. Boy doing it. <laughs> But now he gonna be booting some stuff. I'm gonna be booting some stuff. This series, I, don't, I ain't gonna be talking too much. I'm just gonna get that work in. I'm just gonna cause damage, let's go. It'll be good to hit these little darts. What's a dart, man? So the dart, let's hit like little line drives, cause like, you just basically- Get your form? Yeah, get the form, get the ball to roll off your foot. Get it, it up. We ain't gonna hit him too low though, like this is. That's a dart? <laughs> My wrist is off. This guy was an NFL punter. He's gonna be back in the NFL real soon. He's not rusty, bro. He's still got it. Somebody here trying to compete with a league punter. I'm predominantly a kicker. I can punt, but not like this dude. Ah! Oh. I didn't get the good. Man, the thing with kickers, bro, whenever one kicker does something, for some reason the other guy does that. It's like we feed off each other. That boy hit, I hit one off the side of my foot. He hit one off the side of his foot. I'm about to bomb this one. He about to bomb this one. Yes, sir. Hey, man, so right now we are in Arizona. Young Destroyer might be moving out of Florida, sadly. Y'all know I'm from the crib, you feel me? I gotta put on for the crib, but I feel like there's better opportunities for me out here in Arizona. It's good to be around this guy, good to be motivated, good to keep working and keep grinding around someone who was at where I want to get to. There's also this guru kicking coach out here, which you guys will meet later in the video. I don't know, man, just thoughts right now. Let y'all know how I'm feeling. I'll leave the punter to this guy. See me between them posts and I'm money. Hey, y'all boys, that stick coming out now. I need to work on my punting. Right now, this is my focus. I'm trying to be an NFL yeah. kicker. Yeah, it helps to be able to punt. Yeah. Obviously, I'm blessed to have any opportunity that comes my way, but I'm aiming for the lead, baby. Hey. I'm gonna start with some taps to the post. Hey. First thing first, we gonna start to get loose. Hit these little taps to the post. Keep our form right, stay upright, and just do everything right. You know I mean? We don't gotta kill them. All my diamonds, BVS. We're gonna back up because from about 40 out, we put them in the street. So we're gonna have to push this back real quick. I don't dance, but I might just hit them folks. Katie and. It's like work, man. One thing I've learned is that I don't have to come out here and kill footballs and murder them. You just gotta give it that love tap. As long as you do everything right, the ball is gonna do the work for you. You ain't gotta try to. <clears throat> no, we got the leg, bro. I don't got this tat on me for no reason. If you in the penthouse at the wrist. That's one, let's make it count. No, they gonna hate my face. No, they gonna hate my face. No, they gonna hate my face. Listen, me and Marquette are gonna have a battle to see who the most athletic specialist is. We're gonna do 40s, we're gonna do one on ones, we're gonna have a dunk contest. We'll do all that. And I bet you I catch that deal. My face. No, they gonna hate my face. No, they gonna hate my face. No, they gonna hate my face. Hey, listen, I ain't trying to make no excuses, but you know it'd be mad dry out here in Arizona. That bitch just soup. Hey, bro, y'all trying to catch an all pro NFL punter's punts and let me know how it goes. All right, y'all, nine footballs. The goal is to be perfect. If we want to be NFL kickers, we got to be 80% plus. But in my eyes, we got to be 100%. So let's get that money. By the way, this is like 55 out. Yes, they shine like Sandler Lira. Oh, they gonna hate my face. Y'all remember that rule we had? If it is not down the middle and it's still good, 10 push ups. If it's just no good, 25. So I owe y'all 10. Straight down the middle? It was good, but not good enough. Let's try that one again. The balls is jumping off my feet, no homo though. My thing is, every week, after week, we sit on Sundays, Thursdays, and Mondays, and we watch all these NFL kickers miss important kicks. And then you got people like myself who are very talented, but are still at home. What are we doing? Stop sleeping. Wake y'all ass up, bro. I'm y'all alarm clock. Bang, 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 bang. 25 piece chicken McNugget. As soon as I said something too, bro. 
I got a bad habit of putting my foot in my mouth. As soon as I go to talking and yapping, that's when I start messing up, man. We're gonna keep them bad takes too, because I'm trying to show y'all the real deal. Let's try this again. And it wasn't straight down the middle, so y'all know what that means. Shit, seven for nine? What's that percent? Let me know down in the comments. But I'll give you a hint. Not good enough. Go ahead and type not good enough down in the comments. We got a fresh new set of nine. We gotta go nine for nine. That one's just a little up tap from like 47, 48. Oh. You saw how I had mind control over that ball? It started off like I didn't want to go where I wanted to go. But then I was like, yo, listen, you're going to go where I want you to go. Oh! That's what we're talking about. We need those every time. There's times where I think too much and I go out there trying to kind of do my technique and shit before I actually kick the ball. I feel like I overload my mind. I do this. I don't need to think of technique and this and that and that. Ten in the bank, because I'm gonna kick these. Oh my God, bro. 35 in the bank. 45 in the bank. Earlier percentage was way better than this percentage. So y'all go down the bottom. And you already commented, not good enough. Go ahead and comment unacceptable. Hell yeah, I'm about to be so swole when I leave here, boy. <laughs> All right, round three. We gotta be cash. We are kicking from 55, 50 plus, but that's no excuse. We gotta be cash. All right, so we put balls all around. We just gonna move to them. Let's add them to the bank, 10. Twenty. Ah. Forty five. Oh, y'all, sixty five for that one. We did go eight for nine though. Whatever that percentage is, add it up down below. But that was some good ass work, man. Hey man, we woke up early today after grinding yesterday. Hopped in the Uber. My dog Carrie is taking me right now to meet with, basically I'll call this guy the gatekeeper of kickers and punters in the NFL. Coach Zahner, Gary Zahner, look him up, got the credentials. But if you wanna make it to the league, you have to go through this guy. So I'm in Arizona, booked the kicking session with him. I worked with him before, so we're familiar with each other, but we, we trying to get to what we trying to get to, man. We gotta see the people we gotta see. All right, y'all boys, we finna get to work. Shit, I ain't even say much, we just get to it, man. All right, y'all, this is the Gary Zahner at one step. Go ahead. Good, tap, walk downfield. Good. Now, even if you get a little skip there, you know, you, you, when you see Justin Tucker kick, he's like this, like this. Yeah. He gets through the through, ball. Through and downfield. Yeah, if y'all some kickers, take some notes, bro. Work on the stuff at home. The one step drill gonna get you right. Get through it. Let's go say it. I know y'all don't really know what's going on. We had a few sessions before this, but y'all seen the gist of it. I'm telling you, bro, if you want to be good at stuff, if you want to master something in life, you got to put in the drill work. You got to put in the reps. You got to put in the little things. I always go out there and just boot and boot and boot and boot. And even doing something like this kind of gives me a little anxiety. It's like, I want to kick that shit. Like, I want to boot the hell out of the ball. 50, 60 yards. But no, you got to master them 20s. You got to master them 25s, 30s. And then work your way back. You gotta get that technique down. Doing a one arm drill now? Yeah, one arm drill. You're still hitting it to the crossbar and you're, you're saying chest don't move. Chest don't move. Oh, Good. You don't have to say chest don't move. <laughs> Uh, that's it. See now, that was pretty good. Secret, if you a guy like me that likes to crunch when you kick, or the arm comes down, which is not where it's supposed to go, it's supposed to come across, just do the chest drill. Hold your hand on your chest, separate the upper body from the lower body, and just swing through that thing, man. Swing through naturally. I'm about to be just walking around like this, like I'm doing the Pledge of Allegiance all day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States 
of D strong. Eyes, go ahead. Leg comes down, arm comes down, tap, walk. Eyes, eyes comes down, and knee. Leg comes down, arm Eyes, and that's it. The swing looked good. Mm -hmm. We just miss hit the ball, but again, I always tell guys, if you miss hit them, miss hit them straight. Yeah, that was pretty darn straight. That was very straight. We're getting there, y'all. Progress. My thing is, I'm documenting this whole journey. Good times to the bad times, to the ugly times, to the great times, to ultimately achieving, getting to the lead. And this is part of it, bro, the drill work, the hours in the trenches. Obviously, it's not the worst. I'm hanging out in Arizona, found hills, beautiful weather, beautiful skies, beautiful everything. It's the trenches because you put in that work. You put in the hours, you invest in, in your craft. This is like $700 kicking set just for today i'll spend 700 bucks on shoes for what gotta invest in my craft man you gotta invest in your own craft also and you gotta do things to put you in the position you're trying to get to man bro shine with the cardinals az az baby all right for all y'all at home i need you guys to keep me on point keep me in check let me know if i'm crunching if i crunch every crunch 20 push-ups coach yeah. Yeah. Uh, not bad good arm yeah. across yeah. good on my ass that was better better off same drill to kick off snap. Oh, all right. Eyes, walk. Good. Down. Yeah. Good. 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 Go eyes. Hurdle. Jog downfield. Now, don't don't kick it quite that hard. Now we still got it. That's a little tap. See, I know it's a tap, but hit it to the crossbar. You tapped it too far. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So now we go on a for film study, coach. Yep. So you're you're a little more like a lot of guys just kick it and they try to kick it far. Mm -hmm. But if you can kick it far and high, yeah. then you you get the best of both worlds. Well, the coach is going, hey, what'd you get? What'd you get? Yeah. But you can see here now, right? So the good thing is, as soon as you lift the foot, the toe's working out. See, the toe's working out. Now, hopefully you don't hit the ground. Punch the toe, lock the knee. See, that looks pretty good, right? The mm -hmm. toe looks good, the knee looks good. You can see the separation, right? So if we set arm across and down, see this arm should not go out, it should come down by your side. You see that? Yeah. But some guys bring it out and they, they go around the ball this way. So you can see the difference of keeping mm -hmm. the chest up, right? See, the eyes came up. Yeah, eyes are good. Eyes, then you go to the hurdle. And then how easy is it to jog downfield? Again, the steps look pretty good. There's a jab. <clears throat> Most important thing is you get the plant right. You punch the toe, you lock the knee. See how your eyes Follow it. are following the ball? But, okay, now you can see how the arm got a little more aggressive, but what saves you is the eyes are going. Mm -hmm. If the eyes stayed back, then, you know, your body would twist. But see, you go right to the hurdle, and then how easy is it to run downfield? All right, that's not bad. When you start to Hey, man, I appreciate you, Coach. That was a really good kicking session. Coach Zoner, he knows his stuff. I feel like he's a really key player in helping me get on this journey and get to the lead, bro, because that man knows his stuff. He knows the GMs. He knows the coaches. He knows the, the players. He knows the ins and outs. He's been there. He's coached there. He's gotten people there, bro. He is the man to help me achieve this NFL journey, bro. And I know I ain't been dropping no videos about, you know, my path to the draft or the chase or whatever you want to call it, but I've been working. I've been working off camera. I know if I really do want to take this seriously, I got to start going harder and that may mean that I don't have time to post videos or film everything or this and that. Like I said, Kozoner is a key player. Uh, I must probably see him a few more times before I head back to Florida. Uh, I got a lot of things. I don't know. A lot of things been going on, bro. For one, Andy Strom might move out of Florida. My lease is up November 30th, so I'm trying to figure out somewhere to live. Arizona's a big, you know, competitor. Maybe Atlanta, maybe LA. I don't know yet. For two, my boy King Troy, he back. We had a talk, we figured things out, we put our differences aside, and you know, we we back to being boys like ain't shit happened. He about to come out to Arizona next week and hang out. So I'm excited to see that. And three, I don't put my personal business out on the internet a lot, but me and Kiki to go are not together right now. I won't go into details, but we still love each other. We're still friends. We still wish the best for each other. 
I don't need y'all blowing up her social media or anything like that without any of you guys scrutinizing, scrutinizing us or hitting us up or no crazy shit. I wish her the best. I still talk to her every day to make sure she's doing all right. At the end of the day, Kiki the Goat was there for me in times where a lot of people weren't, but just right now, it's not the time for us to be together. So if you guys care about me, you care about her, please leave her alone, leave me alone. We'll be all right. But thank you guys for checking in and tuning in to episode one of The Chase. Yandy Shrun is back. We're at it. We're grinding. We're working. We're achieving dreams, chasing goals, defeating obstacles. And I hope you are too, man. I appreciate you guys. See you guys next time I drop one of these.